Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing vanilla Minecraft 15W39C of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. And in this video, I'm going to be uh, showing you another clock. This one is a, uh, a human powered uh, breeding clock, so it's probably more accurately called a timer. Uh, but it's one of those stupidly simple Minecraft niceties that um, I feel like I just have to mention it. Um, uh, animals can only be bred every five minutes. Um, they, they have a five minute cool off period and it turns out that there's something else that has a five minute period and that's the despawn time of items. So I'm going to use that uh, to let me know when my cows are ready to be bred again. Uh, so I have a little animal pen here and I've got a three wide opening. Uh, and in front of the three wide opening, I want to dig out a little L-shaped trench. And I want to make that two blocks deep. And then in the corner of the L, dig out two more blocks. And right here, uh, in the, towards, the, uh, uh, towards the pen itself, I want to place a dropper facing down. So I'm going to put a dropper right there. And uh, go ahead and fill this dropper with some kind of junk items. These are the items that we're going to let despawn. And then underneath the dropper, place a pressure plate. On top of the dropper, place a pressure plate. And two blocks to the side, place another pressure plate. At the bottom of the trench, uh, place a short redstone wire. And on this block over here, uh, place a redstone torch. Uh, now just go ahead and fill up the, uh, fill up the trench. Okay. Uh, and I want a path uh, in and a path out. So I'm going to mark those with a uh, fence. Okay, and on the side that does not have the dropper, so this side over here, uh, this is our path into the pen. I want to place a fence gate on either side of the pressure plate. And on the side with the dropper, this is our path out. I want to place a fence gate in front of the dropper. Uh, go ahead and open the first gate on the path in, uh, and we're all set. So uh, if I um, uh, come in here now, I can go ahead and uh, feed my cows. And these guys aren't going to be re uh, ready to breed again until uh, for five more minutes. So uh, on the way out, I'm going to pass over this pressure plate. And I can't go out this way because this fence gate is uh, closed. On the way out, uh, this pressure plate is going to cause the dropper to spit out an item on the pressure plate below. Uh, and that will depower the redstone torch, which is directly underneath this fence gate. So that fence gate over there will close. Okay. Now I have no way in. <laughs> uh, unless I manually open the fence gates, of course, but um, uh, when the item despawns, uh, the redstone torch underneath this fence gate will turn on again, uh, letting me know that, it, uh, that the cows are ready to be bred again. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get rid of that item, simulate, uh, uh, simulate um, the item despawning. All right, and uh, the gate opened uh, to let me know that um, I, the cows are ready to be bred again. And uh, then I just complete the circuit. Uh, <laughs> so it, very, very simple. It's uh, really resource light, easy to build. Um, this is just something that uh, if you're doing a lot of uh, animal breeding, <laughs> sort of more classic animal breeding, rather than uh, packing a whole bunch of mobs into one little space, um, this is a, a nice thing to have, uh, just, to, just to let you know so you don't have to keep trying or uh, finding out that some cows are ready to breed, some cows aren't, or whatever. So uh, That's it then for this video. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments, and thanks for watching.